by what you saw. And do you know, do you, do you know what they were able to do? For the first time, you saw the abortionists dropping <laughs> the language that they used to hide their acts. Mm -hmm. right. They didn't mm -hmm. talk yes. about tissue. Mm -hmm. right. We're getting rid of tissue. Hearts, they livers, bones. Where we place the forceps so we can harvest human parts of babies. And that made it horrific. And so when I ask you, one of the things that you can do is don't let them use the language they use. These are babies. These are living human beings. And it's not tissue. And don't let them talk about that. One of the things that I found most ironic when we were passing a bill, to uh, a parenthood bill in the legislature in Maryland, so that if somebody attacked, we had a horrific situation where a woman was pregnant, the boyfriend didn't like it, so he literally tried to hurt her so bad by hitting her and punching her in the stomach, he caused an abortion. And they wanted to say, well, you should be able to sue for that. That child, that unborn child, has a life, and we ought to be able to sue. Well, we had to pass legislation that did not recognize this as a human being, but allowed you to sue for the death. Now, you talk about trying, I'm serious. That is what they try to get you to do in the legislature, is to ignore certain facts, such as you're protecting a life, and to call it something else, and to try to paint it as something else. And so I ask you, do not allow that. Don't take part in that. Don't let somebody you're having a discussion with do that. Use the language they use. Call it what it is, because it's hard to defend it when you point out just how graphic and disgusting mm -hmm. what we're allowing to happen is. Now, one of the times that uh, we were in the, in the legislature, one of the things that had come up, and this is to show you can have victories. You can do things if you work hard enough at it. And one of the things that we were trying to make a difference was, was for the first time ever, this abortion clinic is actually regulated, and everyone in the state of Maryland is, because we had a horrific situation right across the street in Elkton, where I'm at, my law office is on this side of the street, and across the street, right next to the courthouse, is a little place called the Brown Building, the Charlie Brown Building. And in that building, they were performing abortions. The man was up in New Jersey, and he was giving a chemical to women to start the abortion process that was legal in Jersey. And then they would drive their own car to Maryland because you couldn't do the late-term abortions in Jersey, but Maryland allowed it. So they got here, and one of the ladies had a problem. Well, the Elkton Hospital, the uh, Union Hospital, is about a block and a half away, right behind the courthouse. He put her in a wheelchair, the abortionist, took her over to the hospital and dropped her off in the emergency room, and then left. Well, the doctors were, God bless them, smart enough to look and say, what happened to you? What's going on? So they called the police. And the police went over, and they found in the freezer there all of these babies that were late term that some they believed had come to life. And it was going to be the first time in Maryland we were going to prosecute on the bill that we had passed that said you can prosecute the abortionist for killing, for murder, for a child that was born. So what happened is I put together a list of bills and went into the legislature and, and we said, you know what, I'm pro-life. You're pro-choice, the majority of you here in the legislature. And I said, what we want to do is agree to disagree on that issue. But we can all agree, if a woman has to go into one of these places, that she should live through the process. And so we were able to say, just like any other medical center, you'll now, in Maryland, regulate them. You'll have to have a doctor. They, if they're coming out of state, they gotta go into the emergency room. That we were able to pass regulations on the abortion clinics for the first time in the state of Maryland. So you can get some minor victory. Another one was we had $40 million of state money that was already being used after babies were born and addicted to crack. And they would say, we're going to take that money and we're going to take care of the crack baby and the in infant uh, mortality, uh, the units, the uh, natal units. We said, why don't we move that instead of after the baby's born to before? Get the mother off the crack pipe, get the mother the prenatal care, and we were able to reduce 2,000 abortions a year. And we were able to knock down the infant mortality rate in Maryland in three years by 23%. So there's a way that you can work 
and get things done, even though you've got an overwhelming majority in the legislature in Maryland. If you're smart and you work at it, you can get that done. So those are two bills I'm very proud of that we worked very hard on that have made a difference, a 23% reduction in just three years in the uh, infant mortality rate and over 2,000 abortions a year that are no longer needed, and it didn't cost the taxpayers a cent. We took the money they were using after they were born and moved it before. Woo! Now, the last thing I'm going to ask you to do, the last thing I want to ask you to do is go out there and make sure that your legislators read their bills and that they actually know what are in those bills when they go and vote on them. How many of you know that this year's budget in Maryland contained two different places of public funding abortion? Did. So every single legislator, including those who say, you know, we're anti uh, funding for Planned Parenthood, voted to fund Planned Parenthood because in our budget that the governor put out, there were two places that we fund Planned Parenthood. Just in June of 2015, there's a perfectly good sounding bill and it's called the Breast Cancer Commemorative Coins Bill in Congress. Now we're gonna fund, who would be against that? Nobody. Sounds like a great bill. But part of the money from that went to the Susan B. Comas. Susan B. Comas funds Planned Parenthood. So if Susan, let's say Planned Parenthood had a million dollars to put on abortions, and they had a million dollars to put on breast uh, cancer, if they get another million dollars in, they can put two million into abortion now because now they got a, their million replacing the breast cancer. We got to read the bills. We got to make sure that we know what we're actually getting into and that you got to hold their elected officials accountable and make sure that they're doing the right thing and they're doing what we tell you. Thank you very much for all coming out here. Woo! Keep working. Thank you.